What is going on everybody? So today I want to tell you about chatter baits. One of my favorite baits to throw, if not my favorite. You know, it is a bait I use all the time. Springtime, summertime, winter, fall, you name it. I, I, I literally have a chatter bait tied on year round. That and a burner worm. But chatter baits are awesome, awesome baits. But I'm gonna show you a quick little thing on the chatter baits I like to use, the trailers I use, um, different situations, all kinds of different things. But guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned to learn more about chatter baits. I'm gonna at least teach you what I know. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So a chatterbait, a vibrating jig. I personally like the Z-Man chatterbait better. I do use BB crickets. I do kind of buy blades to put on different swim jigs. Do own some other various chatterbaits that are made, or vibrating jigs made by other companies that I do like. Um, mainly, I throw a 3 8 ounce chatterbait. And here right here is a gold shiner jackhammer, 3 8 ounce. 3 8 ounce I probably throw, you know, that's probably the size you're gonna see me have on almost every time. Um, to me, that is universal size, it's good. I can throw it out deep, I can throw it shallow, I can do a lot of things with it. Probably the only time I go bigger is if I'm fishing, you know, the St. John's River and I'm throwing uh, big big chatter baits, you know, half ounces to, to full ounce uh, chatter bait on shell bars and stuff like that. To me, basically, I throw two different colors and that is this gold shiner, jackhammer and this green pumpkin jackhammer. Now the trailers I put on them decide basically around what fish I'm fishing on. Yes, I do fish white chatter baits and yes, I do fish black and blue ones. And yes, I do have a few other colors I like to throw too sometimes certain situations or I'm just feeling lucky and I decide to pick up chartreuse and green or something like that. You know, you never know what's gonna be the situation. But for the most part, these are the two colors that you're gonna be seeing me throw day in and day out. For this Gold Shiner one, you're gonna see probably three different trailers I like to throw on it. Uh, this new bait, which by the way, if you haven't heard of this, the new Gambler Komodo, really, really awesome bait. It is more of a fluke style bait, uh, more of a fluke style trailer, you know, with a fluke fork tail and really thick body. It makes a lot of vibration in the water, very erratic, but very natural looking. This is gonna be, this is my new favorite trailer, honestly. This is my new favorite trailer. After using it just a couple times, this thing has been awesome. And if you watch my most recent Headwaters video, this is actually the bait I caught the six pounder on, and it's actually the same Komodo I used the whole day. Guys, this Gambler Komodo needs to be something that gets in your tackle box. This bait is sick. Awesome, awesome bait they just came out with. Uh, but here, again, you see the white one. So basically on this, you're gonna see me throw three baits. You're gonna have this green pumpkin Komodo, a white Komodo, or this isn't on a gold shiner one right now, but this mean green Gambler Easy Vibe. That's my other favorite one to throw on there. Um, really these three baits, this is a very similar color to gold shiner to me. It's now gold in it, but it's green pumpkin and white. Um, what I like about the gold shiner, gold blade. You can get yourself a gold blade, throw a gold blade. I just like gold blades. I catch more fish on gold blades, I feel like. But really on this gold shiner or this green shad uh, color, those are gonna be my three trailers on there. Uh, three eighths ounce. I'm throwing these anytime I'm fishing around shad or gold shiners, or uh, I have this green pumpkin one on there because I was also around bluegill too. This way I'm hoping to imitate all three as best I can. And it worked on the headwaters. That was my goal on there. Uh, this is more of around this spawn in springtime. I like to put, you know, this trailer on there. So the next color I like to throw mainly is a green pumpkin chatterbait. Still 3 8 ounce. This is a green pumpkin jackhammer, 3 8 ounce. Um, this one, I actually have a black blue Komodo on. Now, the green pumpkin one, I get a little bit more different on my trailers. Um, this one, I will still throw. This easy vibe, this mean green easy vibe. A little white in some situations on the back of it, but usually I like a black and blue, a green pumpkin Komodo. Sometimes I will go to a burner crawl on it, you know, get that double claw action kicking around. Uh, always a great chatterbait choice. This one's on a chatterbait elite. 
Um, the other trailer I do like to go to, and this is more of a smaller chatterbait thing, right here is a Gambler flapping shad. And I actually put this, I took a Gambler Southern swim jig and I added a blade to it to make kind of a finesse smaller chatterbait right there that could fit this flapping shad on. That is a great little trailer too for certain situations. Um, but mainly, you know, chatterbaits, I keep it simple. If I go black and blue, I typically am gonna have the crawl style on there or probably this Komodo or a uh, paddle tail. Um, again, there's an easy vibe that I really like to throw. It's black with a blue tail on there. I typically though, typically go with a uh, burner crawl though when I'm throwing a black and blue. This is actually a, a thunder cricket, not a chatterbait. But yeah, that's basically my lineup on chatterbaits. I try to keep it simple with it. Try to keep it real easy. My rods, I'm throwing it. I've got two rods really I'll throw it on. Well, three. My rods, I really have three rods I throw it on. One of them I don't have with me, but this one right here has been the go-to. This is a 7.4 TFO Tactical Elite Medium Heavy Cranking Rod. Has a lot of tip to it, which I really like when throwing chatterbait, so if a big fish hits, it'll load up on it. Um, I'm throwing this on 16 pound fluorocarbon and I got a six two to one gear ratio reel. Uh, this is my chatterbait rod, this rod. Day in, day out, throws the chatterbait all day, every day. Um, the only thing that changes on this probably throughout the year is the color of the chatterbait. But that's the best chatterbait setup so far that I know of. And the new one that will rival it is right here. And this rod, I am so excited to throw. The new TFO Tactical Glass Rod. This is a 7.4 medium heavy cranking. You know, it's the same dimensions. This is part fiberglass rod. I'm super excited to toss this tomorrow. I got this one with 15 pound fluorocarbon on a 7.1 or is this a 7.5? On a 7.1 to gear ratio reel right here. This, I'm super excited to throw. Super excited. So when I'm fishing the chatterbait, I like to fish it around grass. I fish it everywhere. I mean, I'll fish it on shell bars, I'll fish it anything. I really like fishing on grass. And when it's in grass, I wanna be reeling this bait so that it's just right on top of the grass and then when it does catch in, I can rip it out. You know, and as soon as I rip it out, that's typically when those bites are. Um, the chatterbait is just a fish to me that catches numbers, it catches big fish, it catches all kinds of stuff. I mean, Grass fishing to me is my favorite thing to do with it. My second favorite thing to do with it is to fish docks. But when I'm fishing docks, I kind of switch from the jackhammer, not only because it's a little bit more expensive, but and, I lose, and I'll lose more base underneath the dock. That's also because of this right here. This is a Elite Chatterbait Elite, I think is what it is, yes. And it has, see that flatter head on there? This bait's really good for skipping. Um, skipping docks, I'm typically always throwing green pumpkin. I feel like when fish are on docks, they're teeing in on bluegill more. That's the other time I throw it mainly. Other than that, you know, I throw it on points and, and rocks and shell bars and slow roll it. Uh, the colors really don't change. The bait doesn't change too much. Um, that one, I like bottom contact. There's times where I'm just cranking it up on points, middle of the water. Chatter baits are very, very versatile bait. But to me, it's an excellent bait in the spring. In the fall, in the summer, year round, I'll throw the chatterbait. But uh, yeah, that's really my quick little thing on chatterbaits. Guys, if you're a chatterbait fisherman, you need to find yourself some of these Gambler Komodos. These baits are awesome. They're brand new by Gambler. I mean, I'm going to show you this. here. I got one out of the pack right here. I'm going to show you something on this. So here's what I like about it. You see how it's got these ribs? It's got the flat side towards the front of the bait. What that means, that water is going to catch that and it's going to disperse that much more. It's going to make more vibrations in the water with that. Another thing you see on this tail, it has so much action. You almost wonder why does it have so much action? The tail gets skinny and then gets fat again. I don't know if you can see that, but it gets skinnier and then it gets widens out even more. So it's not necessarily a paddle tail, but it's a, kind of a similar thing to where that water is going to catch. And what that does is it's gonna create that very subtle movement, but very erratic. You know, subtle and erratic all at the same time. 
Guys, this is my new favorite trailer. I mean, I've used it a few times and it's quickly becoming my new favorite trailer to throw. Um, yeah, if you are a chatterbait fisherman, highly suggest the new Gambler Komodo. Really awesome bait. Of course, it has that Gambler bite sense, so those fish are going to track it down even more. But everyone, thank you for watching. I hope I helped you with your chatterbaits fishing. I hope that you take what I take some tips that uh, I gave you and apply them and they give you success. Comment down below if you have something on chatterbait that maybe I don't know or what's your favorite chatterbait to throw. But thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You know, this little thing's gonna pop up. There's things to subscribe, and there's a thumbs up and a bell. Click all three of those for me. That way you can subscribe to the channel, like the video, and you get a little notification for the next videos that come out. Guys, thank you for watching, and we will see you later. Boom!